What's up, guys? Got the uh, the bearded one here. Um, I've been told that it bears an odd resemblance to somebody. Don't know who, but uh, take a guess. All right. So this little thing, I've been very impressed with. Uh, let me vape it actually. Make sure I got juice on here. That'd be a smart idea. So uh, I picked this up at Robin's Vapors here in Cincinnati. She uh, she sent me a message last week, and our our conversation was actually pretty funny. She uh, she asked me if I had ever heard of the bearded mod or the bearded one. I said no, and she said, "Well, I think you need to come check it out and pick one up." I said, "All right, that's cool." So I stopped by, and I guess a lot of her customers have been saying that I bear an odd resemblance to the guy on the mod. Um, this thing's nice. Definitely chucks. Got my uh, Black Mutation X on here. Let's uh, let's talk about the specs on this thing. The bearded one. Single 18650 tube. It is a single tube. No uh, no 18500s, no 18350s going in this bad boy. Uh, full copper contacts. Magnetic switch, which it's a brass switch. It's also recessed. There is no locking ring. And uh, probably my favorite thing about this mod is this finish right here. They uh, blast, sandblasted the copper, and it's got a uh, black chrome finish. This looks really good. Um, I noticed that there was, well, it's kind of wearing off down here on the bottom, but it looks like they uh, they kind of let it patina a little bit on the, uh, the copper here and then clear coated it. So it did look really good when I first got it. The switch is a little, obviously I wore the clear coat off that really good, but uh, you can still tell up here. Um, yeah, guys. I've been, uh, using this as my go-to uh, tube mod for about a week. It's just, uh, it's nice and short, you know, with that recessed button and everything. Clean. Love black, of course. Um, yeah, what else can I really say about it? It, uh, this is another affordable, authentic mod, which, uh, starting to look like these mod companies are getting hip to, uh, these clone companies kind of, you know, running them out of business not necessarily but they're probably taking a good chunk of their money so these uh... these affordable authentic mods are very encouraging um, I believe this retails for 130 uh... just like the flagship another uh, affordable authentic mod um, and it, it's good i haven't got any hot button off of it uh... magnetic switch so you know Realistically, you're not going to get much hot bone with a magnetic switch. Um, my one complaint about it... God, these stupid fucking mutation gaskets on the V1. I hate them. Can't get this Addy off because it's uh, flaming hot, obviously. I got a .08 build on here with uh, 19 gauge nichrome. Um, but... 510 connection in there, it's adjustable on both sides. So, uh, you know, you can't just throw your Addy on there and screw it on and be good to go. You gotta take a screwdriver and thread the uh, the 510 connection in and out in the tube and on top, on the top cap where it actually makes connection with your uh, with your Addy. But other than that, I have no complaints whatsoever about this mod. It's just a hard hitter, good looking. Love that little logo on there, you know, especially this time of year being no shave November. Um, and well, I've been growing my beard obviously a little bit longer than a month. Um, so yeah, if you're uh, you're rocking a beer, or you want to support no shave November, pick this thing up. Badass little mod, simple, clean. Not much else I can say about it, so uh, 
Thanks, Robin, for uh, pointing this thing out. It's a, it's a great mod. If you guys want to go pick one up, go see Robin. Tell her I said, hey, later.